Today you're joining us at the Embassy Suites Los Angeles in Glendale, California. We will start with giving you a room tour. This visit, we are staying on the fifth floor, room 524. As you can see upon entering, um, if you've ever stayed at Embassy Suites before, the layout is not like your normal Embassy Suites layout which isn't a bad thing, it's just different. Um, very nice. Um, the furniture is, you know, comfortable. Um, the room is sizable. Kids love the living area. Uh, you see here as you walk in, you got the uh, closet towards the uh, back of the uh, living area. Decent size closet. Um, there's another in the room, but it's in the bedroom area, so it's not just that closet. See this concrete, uh, or, or I'm sorry, granite area in front of the window. It's probably about a two and a half, three feet area um, to place your luggage or what have you, if you choose to. Um, the kids made themselves at home as always. So as far as lighting goes, there is no overhead lighting in the living room area. There are a few lamps. There's one on the desk. There's two in the living area on either side of the couch. And then there's another light switch once you enter, but it only lights up the area by the wet bar. Over here you have the desk. Uh, there's a few chairs there and one of the lamps that I just mentioned. There's a phone there for you to use at your convenience. Also the room service menu on the desk and wired internet connection and an outlet on the lamp. With one USB uh, port. The TV did have a good selection of cable channels. ESPN, Disney, Comedy Central, a and &E. HBO, had like six HBO channels. Over here you've got the wet bar, there is a microwave as you can see, inside this cabinet is a mini fridge, uh, not just a cooler, an actual refrigerator, with a good amount of space for our leftovers and beverages that we had from previous trips we took. And there is extra storage here under the microwave, we were only here for two nights so didn't need to utilize all of the space, but it's nice to have it if you're planning a longer trip. And there's also, I wouldn't call this storage, but there's space underneath the sink. And up here you have your typical ice bucket, glasses, water, and coffee maker. Arrowhead water, $5 a bottle. Not something we were interested in. Uh, going into the bathroom here, uh, it's a good size restroom. Um, very, very nice size mirror. The shower's a good size. Um, good lighting uh, for the most part. It, it, it's, it's functional. Um, the water got hot very quick. Very hot, very quick. Like unsafe, yes. very hot. Yeah, so you have to be careful with that. If you turn, there are two faucets, but if you turn on just a hot, it gets hot, and I, I wanna say it's scalding. It, it's very hot. Um, so watch your kids. And piggybacking on the water, the water pressure in that shower is probably the worst we've ever experienced in any hotel we've ever stayed in. Yes, yes. It, 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 you'll, you'll be in there for a while taking a shower um, the way that water pressure uh, was. It, it just, it, it fell out. Um, you have your three, um, you have your, your... Body wash, shampoo, conditioner. But the body wash was empty in this particular situation. The body wash was empty. We had to use, you know, the shampoo at one point for as body wash until we could uh, um, fix that. But the quality of the products was good. Yes, yes. And there's not really a lot of counter space or space for anything, so keep that in mind. Here we have the bedroom. Very generous space inside the bedroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This nice bench here for sitting down, putting shoes on, if you want to open up your suitcases. You have the bedside uh, tables with the lamps. 
and they do not work unless you turn on the main switch next to the door. So keep that in mind. And you'll see that in a few seconds when we get to that part. But you've got a little bit of storage, these drawers here, and there's a shelf underneath the storage. A little more storage over underneath the television. Um, again, you know, it, 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 very, it, it's, it's nice, functional. Okay, it does the job. Here's the switch we were just speaking on in regards to turning on all the lights in the room. And then you can go over and if you choose to turn the uh, light on and off, you Again, can. no overhead lighting in this room either. Right. Right. Um, good amount of space for uh, storage underneath the television. You got two shelves. Underneath the two shelves, you have the two drawers. Um, again, we were at pretty much the end of our trip. We'd been down in Southern California for a uh, full week. Uh, we went to San Diego, stayed there for a second. Uh, went to Knott's, stayed there for a night or two, and then came on up to um, Glendale and stayed here to go to Universal Studios. Uh, stayed here for a couple of nights, so. We got another closet in the bedroom. This one has the safe. Also has the iron and the ironing board. Plenty of hangers. I don't think we used a closet really for anything, nor did we use the, uh, the safe. But that safe is a pretty good size. And there's a shelf up here, additional storage. Yeah, we lived out of our, our, our um, suitcases because we, only, we were only there for a couple of nights. So there was no point in unpacking and repacking, unpacking, repacking. We just kept everything in our uh, suitcases. Safe, again, very good size. You could uh, fit a full size laptop in yeah, there. Yeah, I can go as far as my elbow in there. I put my arm in there all the way up to my elbow and it was wide enough for, like she said, a full size laptop, so. Bed was fairly comfortable. Um, the pillows were not very firm. They're the kind of pillows if you lay on them, they kind of deflate mm -hmm. as your, your body weight um, pushes down on them. But you have another phone. There's the address. Yeah, the, uh, bedroom. All in all, it's a nice room. Nice room. Again, there's there, there's all this space here for you to. Uh, well, what we did was we just threw our suitcases up on that, and um, that, that that was our, you know, our our drawer or our you know shelving area, or whatnot. We threw our suitcases up there, and it was functional. It really it worked very well for us. Yeah, that left that bench open for us to sit down and put on shoes, take shoes off. Yeah. So we're gonna do a little walk around throughout the hotel now. You've got your trademark embassy suites, elevator shaft so you can see into the lobby. This is the area where they have breakfast, the buffet, uh, weekdays and weekends. The hours vary depending on what day, but this is included in the room rate that you're paying. And it was a pretty good selection for a, a breakfast buffet. It was legit. Made to order omelets, they had waffles, French toast, fruit, yogurt, coffee. Bacon, sausage. Uh, Starbucks coffee, by right. the way. Cold cereal, hot cereals, cold cereals are more on the healthy side. You know, you didn't have your Fruit Loops and your, you know, uh, uh, no Lucky Charms. Charms, yeah, stuff like that. And to the right, we have the lounge area where the manager's reception is. Right here we have the gift shop for any essentials that you may have forgotten. We did not need to utilize this, so this was our only time looking at it. Right. In the event you needed and it wasn't closed, they were willing to go and help you out. Though They were willing to walk over, unlock it, and uh, get you whatever you needed. They didn't want you to have to leave to do anything. If you, know, you forgot something, they would take care of you. And this feature, I think, is unique to this particular embassy. We've stayed at plenty of embassies before and never seen this. But right as you enter the property, there is a koi pond in the lobby. And you are actually allowed to feed the fish. They have fish food at the front desk. And they do feedings on Tuesdays and Fridays. So that's pretty cool. Very cool, actually. Um, the kids actually were, 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 were enamored by this koi pond 
um, especially the young lady. She, she really enjoyed uh, the koi. Yeah, I don't think they believed it was real at first. <laughs> Um, it, it just seems out of place to have a koi pond in a lobby. So that's, that's a very cool feature it is. of this location. Milling around, still checking everything out. And to your right, you'll see the elevators to the parking garage. So you don't have to exit the hotel to go down to the parking garage, which is nice because it was raining when we arrived and that would have sucked to have to go outside with luggage. Uh, parking was uh, $27 a night, um, but they take that out of the incidentals that they uh, that they charge you, uh, or they take out of your car, take off of your card uh, upon check-in. Uh, it's $100 a night incidental, and they just take it out of there. So, yeah, 27 bucks a night is pretty good considering. Now this area, you've got a couple of conference rooms. This is also a location that hosts weddings. I don't know how well they advertised it, but yeah, there's about maybe, what would you say, three or four conferences? About four, maybe four or five actually, uh, different sizes. This is one of the, I guess, smaller Smaller ones, ones, yeah. Looks more like a, a meeting room, but they do have some, some nice setups for weddings, should you choose to have reception here. Yeah. This is one of the ones that was open. They had a few of them that weren't, which told us that they were, well, they basically said they were in use. They were closed and in use. Um, and we were here during the week, I think. We arrived on, what, a Tuesday afternoon and we checked out on a Thursday. Yeah. If you go down this hallway, there is a vending machine and also your ice. And they only want you to fill up your ice bucket for the room with that ice vending machine. If you have something like an ice cooler or an ice chest that you're using, they uh, prefer that you go down to the buffet or the restaurant to get larger quantities of ice. Continuing on this, uh, this hallway, you see here to your left, there's an outdoor pool, Embassy Suites, so they all have pools. Uh, most of them are indoor. This one's outdoor, but it is covered. They also have, as you will see uh, momentarily, they have the uh, hot tub over in the corner, but that's not covered. And the pool is heated. It's heated. Checked. It's heated, yes. Yes. And it's almost as warm as the hot tub was. It was It was pretty warm. We dipped our hand in there to, to check. There's some lounge chairs available. We did not utilize either of these. Again, it was raining. It was pretty chilly. We had no intentions of jumping into any water, so we didn't bring any swimsuits. But there were people using that pool while we were there um, that I, we noticed. I mean, you know, to each their own. Um, real quick, they uh, you use your... Um, your key card for pretty much everything to get in all of these uh, uh, rooms and whatnot, as a, except for that conference room. Uh, you use your key card. Um, I, I believe the elevator. I don't. I don't I, 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 well, maybe not the elevator, but I Definitely know. these areas. I, and I know for the manager's reception, you had to use your key card to show them. You know, you had to tap your key card to show them that you are actually a current resident of the. Uh, the uh, hotel not you know just flash a key card but you have to press it up on a pad and they knew okay if it turned green you're good if not then yeah no yeah the kids so badly wanted to go swimming but wasn't even a thought that we considered but good to know that even if it is cold the pool is heated and it, it was a nice temperature mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. So as we wrap it up, the final thing we're going to take a look at is the fitness center, which is open 24 hours. And again, you need your key card to gain access. It's not huge, but you've got quite a few machines. You've got weights, the ellipticals, treadmills. You've got a TV up here. There's water. There's restrooms. You've got cubbies for anything that you bring in and towels, which is very helpful. Then you've got a cycle machine and, of course, the wonderful Peloton. 